Hello everybody, we are back trying to complete community center in one year in Stardew Valley. How have you been? I know these videos have been taking me a while to upload, but just know that I am really trying not to rush them. There, It's a lot of footage to go through and it takes some time, <laughs> it does take some time. But the second part is finally here! And if you missed the previous video, we got started with the game, I started exploring some of the new features that came with this new 1.5 update, like the new beach farm, which is beautiful. We also found some secrets and whatnot, but I'm not gonna spoil them. If you want to catch up on the series, you can go watch the first parts. But today we are continuing and we are on the summer season now. It was the first day of summer, my chickens had grown, so I shipped their first eggs as I'm someone that needs to complete everything in this game. I gotta ship every item. Luckily, I didn't need to prep my farmland too much because the strawberries just died, leaving the plots ready for me to plant whatever I wanted. Thank you, strawberries, that's why you're the best. I just needed to get the rest of the plots done and get some fertilizer because we're gonna need some gold quality melons this season. I had already gotten some seeds from Gunter, if you remember from the previous video, so I already planted those. And since it was still a bit early for me to go to Pierre, I already started watering some plots. We gotta use every minute of our first days of each season. Trust me, time goes by so fast. <laughs> Especially when your watering can and your hoe are not upgraded. Up years, I bought a lot of melons and some of each other crop I didn't use up all my money yet because I didn't know if I was getting a decent number of melons. So I got those, I went back to my farm, I planted them and I just tried to see if I, if I had gotten a decent amount of melons and yeah, I, I, it felt that way so... <laughs> It was only after that that I went back to Pierre and I spent the rest of my money on blueberries. It's the best crop we got at the moment and we gotta get as much of it as we can. Also, if you have the Martins bundle, don't forget to buy wheat. And I didn't know this at the time of recording this. <laughs> but apparently, now you don't need all 10 pieces of wheat to be the same quality. You can donate any quality wheat and just stack them and donate them to the bundle and complete it that way. I didn't know that. <laughs> so you're gonna see me wasting some time with wheat, planting it and trying to get all 10 pieces of wheat to be the same quality. But if you are attempting this challenge alongside with me, just so you know, you don't need to do this. <laughs> so I was stuck on the good old days of getting all the same quality of wheat, wasting my time here, but it's okay. <laughs> you gotta love all the quality of life updates that keep being added onto the game. It's the little things. Those matter. After wasting all my money on blueberries, I went around town to see if I could find the summer forgeables. I already found the sweet pea at the bus stop this morning, and I went to the forest to see if I could find the other two. But then I ran into Elliot's and sweet peas that I know he likes. <laughs> so I ended up gifting the only sweet pea I had to him. But it's fine, because I found a spice berry and then a sweet pea at forest, so. We're good. <laughs> no side of grapes on first date though. On the beach I found some rainbow shells, quite a surprise to have it here on day one, so good thing I checked. And after watering everything, I made some mayo machines since now my chickens were fully grown and would start giving me eggs every day and then I went to sleep. Day two, here we come with a lot to water. I feel like at the end of this year my mouse is going to be broken, like not joking. <laughs> I broke one before building in Minecraft and this is pretty much the same. I'm just clicking and misclicking and then having to click some more and it's just a lot of clicking. I don't know if this mouse can handle it, but I, I, I guess I have a job for a reason. It's to buy mouses. <laughs> With the new season comes more debris to your farm as well as some grass. So if you can, gather some hay. Always gather hay when you can. My mushroom case started producing some mushrooms, at least I think it started now. I honestly don't remember if I had mushrooms <laughs> in the previous video. Listen... <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I forgot to check on the cave. So if I did, I'm just letting you all know that for this first year I'm gonna be selling every single mushroom I'm gonna get and I'm only gonna start saving them up to make life elixirs on my second year. For now, I just really need the money. 
I had a quest from Clint to gather up some copper horse, so I hit mines and I got it done. We're gonna need a lot of money this season because we have to fully upgrade our coop for rabbits, we have to fully upgrade the barn for pigs, buy the rabbits and the pigs, and then save some money for fruit trees as well. It's a lot. If only I hadn't gotten Gus Bundle. <laughs> but that's just my luck, isn't it? Like you guys were saying I got lucky? I don't think so. <laughs> but throughout the season, do quests, sell whatever you can that you don't need, plant crops and go mining. Cause you don't know what gems you are gonna find and those are also money. On day three, I received a letter from Mayor Lewis telling me that he lost his lucky purple shorts. What a tragedy. I wonder where those could be. <laughs> Excuse me, what do we have here? They're right there, Louis. <laughs> I'm just here to make sure all of Marnie's business needs are met. Uh-huh. <laughs> did you even leave the house or did you just leave a room and you're now here <laughs> pretending to do your mayor business? Whatever. I can't believe I actually stumbled into this. Well, I came here to buy a cow. She's gonna be called Tipper. And maybe I should already give something to Marnie because I'm gonna need two hearts with her to enter her bedroom to get the shorts. I'm just thinking ahead for fall because during fall we have the fair and I'm not saving any of my good produce. So if I don't have anything good for my grand display, I'm just gonna display the mayor's affair and you know, he's gonna have to bribe me really well for my silence. <laughs> You better pay well, because I, I need money. With my axe upgraded steel, I could finally enter the secret woods to hopefully find a fiddle head fern. A mahogany seed. What is that? Does it grow on sand? Yes, we found it. The hardwood you have here spawns daily, so this is where you need to come to get it if you need it. And I finally found a grape. So I completed the summer foraging bundle and I got some random summer seeds. Gotta love those. As I mentioned in the previous part, I am trying to befriend Caroline to be able to enter her sunroom where she has her lovely tea bush. <laughs> That's gonna give me a tea leaf. It's not necessary to get the tea leaf to complete the brewer's bundle. I know, but you know, it would save me the effort of making two wine bottles since I'm gonna need to make some wine for the wizard's bundle. During the second night of summer, there's an earthquake during the night, and when you wake up, the way that leads up to the railroad is now open. And there's a spa up there. The spa is a good location to go soak up in the hot water to get some energy back, if you have the patience to come up here when you need to. <laughs> you know, just go through the entrance very slowly, and then move again very slowly because you don't want to slip and fall get into the water and just stay there and wait <laughs> wait for the energy to come back this also works for health so if you had a rough time at the mines you uh, you can come here but again you, you need a lot of patience <laughs> which i do not have if i'm being honest but i noticed a few new things on the railroad there's now a dumpster and a rock, which is blocking a way that has been in the game for a while, but was never accessible to us, regular players. It was accessible, <laughs> but not through regular gameplay. But I guess now it is. And we, we just need to figure out how to unlock it, because this thing won't budge. But you know, seeing this just made me like a little more aware of my surroundings. Like, there have been some new things changed that I don't know about. And this tree, has this tree always been this thick? <laughs> or am I going crazy? Like, there's no, this tree looks different. It can't just be me, right? Guys, please. Oh, hello, creepy bird. Nice seeing you on this fine evening. And on the fourth day of summer, I did it. I got two hearts with Caroline, meaning I could go into her sunroom I get the cutscene and I'm just left wondering what she's making her tea with. <laughs> also, remember that mahogany seed I found? I planted it and now we have to wait to see what tree this is. If it will even grow, I don't know. <gasps> oh my gosh, we did it. We got the trash hat. <laughs> 
Finally! I've been thinking through trash cans since day one. I finally caught Alex working the ice cream stand, and as I'm going to need an ice cream cone to complete Kids Bundle, I got it. I had a quest to defeat some red slimes, so I got started with that on the final day, which is always a smart decision. Yeah, there, there's no way I'm finishing this today. Lewis already locked himself inside his house, or maybe he's spending the night out. Who knows at this point where this man is or what he's up to. I had bought some more wheat because, as I said, I didn't know I could just donate whatever wheat I had of any quality. Oh, good old rain. You know, a day that I don't need to water my crops is always a blessing. Caroline sent me a letter with a recipe for me to craft my own tea bush, and it was only after I crafted it that I remembered that this can't be grown outside, so... Yeah, this bush is gonna stay in the chest for now. Just taking space. <laughs> With a rainy day, I just spent the entire day cleaning my farm since I had an axe strong enough to cut through these hardwood logs and stumps and I did so. And guess what? I got enough sap to complete the sticky bundle. As I said, and as I thought, this one was going to be easy to complete. Because I always have so much sap. Even when I craft fertilizer, I still have so much left. The same quest? I love second chances, thank you, Louis, for believing in me. <laughs> I'm totally not gonna leave it for tomorrow again. It was only at the middle of the day that I realized that it was raining. Meaning that I could catch a rat snapper. So I went to the beach, I got it done, I found some frozen tears in a fishing chest, and Sebastian was right there at the dock, so... I gifted some to him. Why not? Then I went home, I organized my inventory, and I guess I, I can do the slime quest today. Let me just head to the spa first. <laughs> and what time is it? 9.30? I, I don't know about you, but I think it's worth coming here. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot done. You probably thought I was being sarcastic, but I actually did it. <laughs> and at night, I leveled up my mining skill, meaning I could pick another profession. I want to be a geologist. The more gems, the more money. On day 6, I tried catching the ocean fish needed for the community center for the season. On my farm, which was probably not the smartest idea, because once again, all I found was trash. I, I just never learned my lesson. So on next day, I tried going to the beach instead. We're gonna need a tuna, a tilapia, and the freaking puffer fish. Not only is a sucker hard to catch, but it only shows up each day for four hours. Oh, and it needs to be sunny. <laughs> God forbid if it's raining. It's a very short time frame to try and catch it, especially when you keep failing. I really struggled with this guy. Y you are gonna see throughout the video. Lily, she's trying to make herself heard, <laughs> you know? <laughs> she's a part of my farm, she wants to make her cameo as well. Do you want to do a voiceover with me? <laughs> I managed to catch the tuna and tilapia, but not the puffer fish. That one is gonna require some more time. But you know what's interesting? While I was trying to catch the puffer fish every day, I just kept running into Elliot. He was constantly at the docks. And whenever I would talk to him, he would always be like, did you come all the way here to see me? Oh, Elliot, I wish I did, <laughs> honestly. You're a lot more pleasant than this dang perfect fish I'm trying to catch. The traveling merchant was in town and she had a sunfish. And after this puffer fish fiasco, uh, I was really starting to doubt my fishing abilities, so I, I decided to get it. <laughs> it was also this moment that I remembered that I never catch the puffer fish when I tried to complete community center. I just buy it from the traveling merchant. It's no wonder I'm struggling now. I've never done it. <laughs> and at night, I went to Secret Woods to fish a wood skip for the specialty bundle. Ooh, I thought I was the only one who did this. Like some fresh baked bread, straight out of the oven, still warm, with some coke. Oh, it, it's the best thing ever. Oh, now we're even running into each other by chance. Okay, I get it. The game knew I was torn between him and Arvi, and it's kind of helping me choose. I visited Willy to see if he had any new rods in stock, and I got a cutscene with him. A new one. Oh, there's a door there now. It wasn't there before, was it? <laughs> Again, I'm so sure about these things. Oh, have I? 
Oh, really? I wish I, I didn't. But look how happy he is. <laughs> And from what I got, if I complete fish collection by catching every single fish in the game myself, Willy is going to show me what's behind that door. Which I'm assuming it's a boat. I'm calling it now. I feel like Gussin made it pretty obvious. It's his boat. It's time to donate what I can and I was finally able to complete another bundle. The garden bundle. Which gave me a sprinkler in return. Thanks game. I could totally use those if I could. <laughs> I forgot to bring the red snapper with me, so I'm also completing the ocean fish bundle today. At this point, Wiki was working again, so I ended up checking with the puffer fish difficulty. And it's freaking 80. Even the sturgeon is easier than the son of a gun. So today, I was going to the mountains and I was dreading it. <laughs> If you are watching my Stardew Valley series, you know how hard I struggled catching a sturgeon. But guess what? Here, in the save file, easy peasy. <laughs> what even? Well, I guess I'm back to catching the puffer fish. <laughs> my fishing level is still too low for me to get the iridium rod, and I am sticking to this initial fishing rod Willie gave to me. I'm not spending any money on another one until I can get the Iridium one. I don't care about bait, I just want my bobbers. I couldn't catch it today either, uh, which is not a surprise. But at least with the sturgeon I caught, I could complete the lake fish bundle. It was really coming down to the puffer fish. <laughs> and while looking at the bundles, I noticed that I still didn't catch the ghost fish. This fish can be caught in any season, so there's no rush in getting it. You only need to get level 20 of the mines and just try your luck. So I went there and I did it. I was quite surprised at how quickly I found it, because usually you fish out a lot of garbage until you get what you want out of these caves. And now it's really all up to the bird fish. <laughs> I hate my life. Finally, level 5 fishing. Uh, let's go with the Fisher profession, shall we? I really don't want anything to do with crab pots. Oh, I also got a crab pot from my farm and I kind of forgot to mention I don't even know when I got it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm trying to find either a lobster or a mussel. Since the water on my farm is considered seawater, those are the only two I can find here. And I could craft another one and place it somewhere else in town, but honestly, one crab pot is enough. I don't want another one to completely forget about its existence, which always happens with me. And Elliot likes lobsters, so if I find some extras on my farm, even better. Today was a luau at the beach, and I had saved the cold cauliflower for this moment, so I was ready. The thing is, Tipper grew. So now I can milk her. I only need a milk pail. So I tried going to Marnie before Luau and shock her. It's locked. Of course it is. Apparently now Pierre is selling stuff at every festival, maybe as an attempt to save his shop. I was digging this jungle team, but at the same time, I don't know if I want my house to have a beach shack vibe or a mermaid iridescent pearl vibe. If you know what I mean. I hope you do. I wanna know all my options before I commit. Elliot was at the festival, playing it cool like I just got out and stumbled onto this. But I saw you walking out before I went into the festival, so... Did you come all the way here for me? <laughs> With the cauliflower in soup, it's time to give the governor the shakes. Oh my, that's the best soup I ever tasted. When I left Luau, I still had so much energy that I felt kind of bad just going to bed like this. So I kind of went berserk on my farm and started taking everything down. I need to use my energy. I have it for a reason. <laughs> to get things done. I finally got 10 pieces of regular quality wheat, so I was happy to be done with that. Because now, I could plant something else in its place. But first... My milk pail, Marnie, you can't just lock me out of your store, I'm your only customer. <laughs> well, besides Lewis, but he's here for other businesses, I, I, I don't even want to get into that. <laughs> By the time I got back to my farm milk tipper, it was already 12pm, so I grabbed one of my beach totems to teleport myself to the beach and try to catch the buffer fish again, we can't waste a single minute here. Also, during today and the next two days, it's crab mating season, which means... More forgeables are going to spawn at the beach, so if you need some money, come here, grab what you can, sell it. Again, no luck. 
<laughs> and it really still doesn't have the iridium rod, so I'm I just collected the forgeables and I left. What? Hey, you can't hide behind saloon. That's illegal. <laughs> How can I go through the town's trash with you sneakily hiding behind buildings, Pierre? Don't make me turn to Georgia. <laughs> oh, Alex wants his calves not only to look good, but smell good. I got you. <laughs> I crafted a cheese press because tomorrow we're gonna be making our first cheese and that is so exciting because it's more money coming our way. And I forgot why seeds appear, so I guess we'll plant summer seeds. <laughs> Typical me. The 14th of summer was another rainy day and my luck was turning around because I finally caught a muscle with my crab pots. My melons have grown. And my gosh, have they grown? I never got this lucky with a giant crop like this before. I wasn't even trying to get it. That's the thing. I debated for a little bit whether I wanted to keep it or not because it is cool to have a giant crop on your farm. But I also could use the money. So I ended up taking it down and I got 50 melons instead of 8, so today was really a good day. And you know what makes it even better? We can't catch the puffer fish today. <laughs> Finally, I get a day's break from this dang fish. So I spent the day gathering some hay from my animals and since I had exactly 12k gold, I went to Robin to upgrade my barn. But not before Demetrius went like, I don't want anything getting in the way of my daughter's bright future. You know what I mean? Or your dad is being weird. I got the five gold melons, so a huge weight left my shoulders and I completed the crab pot bundle. On the next day, it was big awaited blueberry harvest, which just meant we were going to make even more money today. And I could finally complete the summer crops bundle, which gave me, and you're never gonna guess, <laughs> another sprinkler. <laughs> is this a joke game? Is this a joke to you? <laughs> Pam wanted a pale ale, and honestly, so did I. But I don't have a cat, Pam. Or know how to make a cat yet, so... You're gonna have to wait. If you're thirsty, just drink some water or go to saloon. I, I really don't care, Pam. It was only on the 16th of summer, after all these long days of trying to catch the puffer fish, I finally did it. I think they started pitying me because this one barely moved when I was trying to catch it. With it, I completed the specialty fish bundle and I started worrying about something else instead. The kids bundle. I was going to need either a doll, which I knew from a secret note, and this is kind of spoilers, but one of the secret notes tells you where one is buried. And I knew where that was. So I tried going there without the note and nothing. <laughs> I guess you need notes first and you only unlock them in winter, so instead I need to get my hands on some cookies. And you can only get cookies from either a trash can from Evelyn's house or by befriending her. So I started trying to get closer to her just in case I never found cookies in her trash can. Wait, 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 wait. Pierre is saying he grew the blueberries himself? Excuse me, that man is a liar. I was starting to get pretty done with my current pickaxe, so I finally started to spend the money and upgrade it. And I knew that tomorrow, with the blueberries ready to be harvested again, I would be able to make enough money to do the final upgrade for my barn. So I sold what I could to Pierre to get 25k, I went to the mines with some bombs because I was missing just some bits of stone, and I rushed to Robin to find out that she's not working today. I swear this always happens. In every single save file, I always have money on the day of our doctor's visits. Why? <laughs> Why? So you know what? I'm gonna buy an apple tree instead, and I'm sure I'll get enough money tomorrow to get it built. If you have the Marnie's bundle, you need to plant this apple tree before the 25th of summer. And if you have the wizard's bundle, which I also do have, you need to buy a pomegranate tree and plant it before the 27th of summer. At night, I level up my farming skill, and I can now make a keg. Finally, I made two in the morning, I put a blueberry in one of them without really thinking that this is going towards the community center and not my wallet. So I guess I can sell this one and donate the next one. <laughs> yeah, kind of waste of time. And I put hops on the other one to make a pale ale. Robin was working today, so I went and upgraded my barn to a deluxe one, the final upgrade. And I bought a pumpkin tree with the remaining money and I was feeling pretty relaxed at that very moment. Things felt like they were going in the right direction. I was making money, even though I wasn't planting as much crops as I normally would. 
I decided to get back into the mines. After level 80, you might find the mushroom level. Any extra gems you find, you can sell, especially if you have the geologist career. And it's just another great way of making money, besides farming and taking care of your animals. I managed to get level 90 on the 20th of summer and I got a wicked Chris. What's with all these freaking daggers? I'm not good with them. On the 21st of summer, it was raining and when I went to the beach to collect some forgeables, I entered Elliot's house and I got a cutscene. I hope he takes the hint. I went back to the mines, I found the mushroom level with only two freaking mushrooms. That's just my luck for today, I guess. And I managed to get level 95. It's time to make some money again. The blueberries have grown and I wanted to finally buy my pig. So I picked everything up, I waited outside Pierre's, I, I didn't even water my crops that morning, I was just ready to get the pig. So I sold everything I could, started heading towards Marnie shop and... Gosh darn, when do you work? That honestly upset me so much that I left the game. <laughs> so on my redo, I watered my crops very calmly, um, I took care of my animals and then I hit the mines where I was able to complete my first monster slave role, which is probably due to the fact that bug steak is great as were before. If I saw a bug in the mines, I would just leave it be. Now I'm actively looking for them for steak. Oh my goodness, what do we have here? In the rain, together, at the bridge. They're leaving, I creep them out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Usually you can get the recipe for the monkey roll on the 24th summer, but if you missed it, you can watch the rerun on the 24th. Today I can finally get my pig, which I named Truffles. A pig with a name like that can't fail me on finding me Truffles. Right? Ooh. Oh, the town is spoiling me today. Let me see what I got here. An insect head. That's my reward? You really shouldn't have, you, you could have kept that one. <laughs> Why does it have to be bugs? I almost got level 100. If it weren't for the stupid spider layout level, I hate it. I got some potato juice at night, which meant I now had the juice and the pale ale needed for the community center, and I was just missing the wine, the mead, and the tea. The 25th was another one of those days that I just spent mining. I found the mushroom level, some gems, and by day 26, I was able to get level 100, where I found a star drop. You feel an unwavering connection to the valley itself, and my maximum energy level has increased. Now that I like to hear. I also found a pretty sweet helmet, so it was a good day. It's the final blueberry harvest. I already got a robin to upgrade my coop, but I was starting to get a little worried because I was going to finish summer without any rabbits. And to get a rabbit's food, I need to have some friendship with the rabbits. Friendship that you gain over time. On the next morning, I took as many trees down as I could for wood to do the final coop upgrade. It's coming a bit late, which scares me, but at least I did it. And it was at this moment that I found out that we can paint our buildings. Now that is cool. I kind of want to go with a teal kind of team. I don't know, I think it's gonna look cool. We shall see. And now, we're finally at the final day of summer. Oh, so harvest what you can. More than what wasn't able to grow on time. And at night, you have the moonlight jellies on the beach, which you don't want to miss out. Oh, and don't forget to get tea leaf. <laughs> Now the Brewers Bundle is complete, and so is the season and this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We only have one more video left. I'm gonna be combining the season of fall and winter together, just because nothing really happens during winter, and it's mostly just gonna be me trying to get one item. And you guys can probably already guess what item that's gonna be if you watch this video. I don't know, leave me your predictions. <laughs> But yeah, I can't wait to show you guys what's gonna happen in the series. Am I gonna be able to do it? I don't know. We shall see, because I still haven't played for winter. <laughs> Not even I know. 
if this is gonna be a success or not. When it comes to this season's goals, I had to upgrade my axe to steel, which I did in spring. You need this in order to be able to enter secret woods to find the fiddlehead fern for the Gus's bundle, if you have it. You need to get a coop and upgrade it to the max, as well as a barn and upgrade it to the max. And it's not really written in the goal, but you should also buy a rabbit and a pig. <laughs> That's why I didn't check the coop one. Even though I did build it and I upgraded it to the max, I wasn't able to buy a rabbit, so it was a fail. You need to buy and plant an apple tree before the 20th and a pomegranate tree. Usually I have a little note following that goal that says before the pig, buy the fruit trees. <laughs> Don't leave it till the very end, because when you plant a tree, it takes a whole month to grow. And if you don't plant it a few days before summer ends, and you leave it till the very end, you're not gonna get free apples in fall. <laughs> if you plant it on 27th of summer, you're only gonna get one apple in fall, so you gotta plan these things ahead. And my other goal would be to get sprinklers, but... <laughs> I mean, I got them, I, I just can't use them. <laughs> when it comes to the fish that you need to catch this season, you have the tuna, you have the tilapia, the sunfish and the red snapper. They're all in the ocean. The puffer fish needs to be caught on sunny days, while the red snapper can only be found on rainy days. You have the sturgeon in the mountains, the wood skip in the secret forest, and in my case, I also needed to get an ice cream for the children's bundle. 10 pieces of wheat for the Marnie's bundle and a tea leaf for the Brewer's bundle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next part, the final part, goodbye everybody, take care.